If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, in this video, we are going to see WRK, a modern HTTP benchmarking tool. In this video, we are going to cover what is WRK and then we are going to see how to install it and how to set up the environment and its usage and a quick demo. WRK is a modern HTTP benchmarking tool where you can generate the load on a single multi-core CPU. Like Apache Bench, it is pretty easy to get started. It's pretty fast and minimal. In Linux, you can install the WRK using the APT package. Otherwise, you can uh, clone the repository and then you can build it your own using the make command. And if you type WRK-V, it will display the version. There are two things you need to make sure it is already installed in the box. One is the Luajit compiler and OpenSSL. Similar to Apache Bench video, we are going to spin up two EC2 instance. One EC2 instance, we are going to install the WRK, which will act as a primary node. And another EC2 instance will have the Nginx demo application. So that we will make sure our load generator is not a bottleneck for our performance testing. Now let us see the usage. Unlike Apache Bench, here we don't see more commands. Very few commands. One is hyphen C where you will mention the number of connections to open, hyphen D to mention the duration of your test, and hyphen T to mention the number of threads or users. And optionally, you can load the Lua script. And if you want to pass the header, you can use the hyphen H. And to display the latency, you can enter the latency tag here and timeout for the socket request timeout and hyphen V for the version. And this is the uh, simple command where you will be injecting the number of threads 100, number of connections 100, and it will display the latency statistics, which will hit the My App. Now let us see a quick demo how we can leverage WRK for a quick performance testing. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to use two EC2 box. I already spun up one, we have the WRK using the apt install command. I installed it already. And the another terminal, we have the demo application. So here, this is the public IP of the Nginx. So if you just use the curl on the IP, you can see welcome to Nginx. Now let me clear my screen and let us uh, use the tail command to monitor the logs. So if you go to var logs Nginx and then access.log, here you can see the log information of the Nginx. Now we are going to run the WRK in our another EC2 box. And in the same terminal, I have opened the htop to monitor the CPU memory and other statistics. Now let me just enter WRK hyphen V where you can see the version and the usage. Now let us do a quick smoke test using the WRK and the URL. And if you just enter, by default, it will run with two threads and 10 connections. And here you can see CPU got a little bit bumped up. And then after the test is done, it will display the statistics. So here you can see the latency in average uh, in milliseconds, standard deviation maximum, and uh, standard deviation again, and request per second. And this many requests has been done in 10 seconds. And uh, you can see the other statistics. Now let us uh, specify the duration and uh, hyphen C, the connections and uh, T, number of threads. So here I already come up with some uh, frequently used commands. Let us uh, run this particular command. So here we are running with uh, 100 threads with 100 connections and hit enter. During the test, you can see the CPU got bumped up. And here also you can see there are uh, so many connections uh, opened by this particular Nginx box. Now, if you go to your uh, demo application, wherever the tail command is running, you can see the output. So from this IP, we are just hitting this Nginx box. Now we are going to uh, add the latency uh, tag. So by default, it will not uh, display the uh, distribution of the response time. For that, you need to add latency. And if you hit enter, once the test is done, it will display the distribution of the response time. So now 
test is done as you see the latency distribution 50 percentile 75 90 and 99 so it's pretty simple powerful tool so now what we can do let us run with uh, thousand connections with a thousand threads so let me just uh, quickly copy this command and let us run for one minute let me clear my screen here and let me enter the command and hit enter and during the test you, you will see the uh, increase in the usage of uh, cpu and memory so this may go up to 70 80 percentage sometimes and you need to make sure you are not reaching uh, more than 70 percentage of cpu or memory otherwise the load generator will become a bottleneck and you are not testing it right but in this case i think it will go up to 50 maximum or 60 so in this case we don't need to worry but if you increase the number of threads to say 2000 or 3000 uh, you need to make sure uh, you are not reaching the threshold and sometimes you will hit the number of connections open error in that case you need to increase the uh, u limit now let us wait for this test to complete and then let us see the statistics so as you see the test is done and here you can see the latency average latency standard deviation maximum is two seconds almost and the distribution is 99 percent is 31 milliseconds so it's pretty simple application uh, you don't see much issues in the performance but it's a pretty good tool to get started where you can benchmark your url and then uh, you can uh, try to fix your performance issues or configurations if any so that's it guys on my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and thank you for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel